I see. Is that what you're... You're, you're gonna have us threaten the old woman robot with a knife? Oh. There's a slot in the front. Wait, do you think we've got to show that? Show it this? Oh boy. <clears throat> they make a reference to vine sauce in the original JP release. What? Huh? Oh my god. Are you whippersnappers trying to threaten me? <laughs> That's how you're supposed to get Vine. Oh, I see, Fina. Okay. It's changed its tune from earlier. Stab it now! <laughs> you kidding? There's no way I'm stabbing this thing. You despicable wretches. There's a passbook in the left room and a seal in the right room. If you want them, go get them. If you want them, go get them. If you want them, go get them. <clears throat> Wait, they do. When did this come out? No, I'm bullshitting like always. God damn it, Fina. Ah! Passbook in the left room, a seal in the right room. Sick! We can get through with those. I should have known you guys would be good at this kind of thing. I'm gonna give you a smack if you don't shut it. Look, another piece of paper came out. Oh. Futa and Raita Yamada's motives. Futa was having money troubles. One of his bandmates had pleaded with him to become a joint guarantor, guarantor for a loan. The kind-hearted Futa obliged. Predictably, the bandmate disappeared and Futa became liable for the 10 million yen loan. Oh. Unable to pay back the loan with his wages as a bike mechanic, he hit on the idea of carrying out a robbery. Raita had run into financial difficulties. Previously a model employee at the real estate agency he worked for, he decided to quit his job to establish an IT company with some of his associates. He took out a bank loan, pouring the funds into developing a video streaming service. However, competition was fierce, and after one of his competitors launched a major advertising campaign, Raita's company found itself unable to gain a foothold in the market. The business soon went bust, leaving Raita with nothing but debts to his name. Realizing he didn't even have enough money to feed himself, he got the idea of committing a rob robbery. Wait, what? Huh. Hi, Jinxie. Our motives for the crime. What's so funny? You're like totally cracking me up here. Hey, Futa, is this really how you ended up racking up all that debt? <laughs> Lame. <laughs> or are you gonna tell me that you never borrowed any money? Just like you keep denying the fact you killed my grandpa and grandma. I'm telling the truth about the loan. Oshikomi 
And you know what else is true? The fact that the burglary happened. Can it already? <laughs> he was one of my bandmates. We've been playing together for ages, so I trusted him. He said his little sister was ill and he needed money to pay for hospital fees. I never met his sister, but he kept mentioning that she was sick. It never even occurred to me that he'd run off like that. Wow, you're such an easy mark. <laughs> Say what you like. Anyway, Raita. What's up, Fuda? This is the first time we've seen each other in ages. I'm guessing you had it rough too, right? What? You don't know what he was doing? Do you ever listen? We hadn't seen each other for 10 years before coming here. <laughs> Plus, it's all there in the incident report. I was in juvie. That's why the cops have my DNA on file. That's how we ended up getting arrested. The worthless older brother, the hotshot younger brother. We lived in completely different worlds. Raita has always been a bright spark since way back. How did you end up in a place like this? The whole burglary thing? I'm telling you, we had nothing to do with that. Kagura. It was a real estate company your grandfather ran, right? What? Whoa, how do you know? I think you know. Raita, you've been to my house a bunch of times. Nani? What? You were always getting chewed up by my grandpa, right? I didn't recognize you without the suit. Hey, this is news to me. Raita! Right, you're telling me you worked at Kagura's grandpa's company? Yeah. I only worked there for a few years, like it says in the reports. After that, I went independent. I. Kinda guessed this a little before. When they mentioned that he was a company man and that the CEO 
would often have people over and chewing them out and that kind of stuff, I kind of thought maybe... Maybe he worked at that company. Because that would at least give him some kind of connection to what happened. Huh. So, you knew that he had money, and that's why you planned the robbery. You're wrong. There's no way Raita would do something like that. It certainly seems that the police came to the same conclusion as you, Kagura. Raita. Raita, yeah. I, I don't need to say that. It's just his name. Futa. Let's keep going. There's no point in digging up the past like this. It's a good idea to rob rich people. Higher profit margins. I mean, that's fair, Jay, but you know. How are you doing, though, Jinxie? I hope you're doing well today. Hmm. Yeah. Well, what's it gonna be? Right or left? Let's split up. What? We have no idea what's waiting for us. It'd be safer to stick together. You can't be sure of that. Say there is a trap. If both of us wander into it, then there's no hope of getting out. Yes, working on some Digimon World stuff. Oh, Digimon World. Nice. Cool, Jinxie. Hot damn. Plus, I want to get through this quickly and finish the attraction. Oh, God. I wonder if... I wonder if Raita did it and Futa was not involved at all. I think splitting up is going to be more efficient. He's being so persistent. Well, if that's what you want to do, have it your way. What am I supposed to do? No idea. Do whatever you want. Whatever, I'm just gonna chill out. I'm going to head to the room on the right. Futa, can you handle the room on the left? The left room? Got it. It would make sense for a pair if only one of them is guilty. Let's meet back here when we're done. Hmm. Well, he wants us to go left, so we'll go left. Alright. <coughs> well. Either way, I best get searching. Right is so methodical. If I keep him waiting too long, I'm going to get an earful. Fair. So just the bookcase as a whole. Nothing. Dresser. And sheet of paper. The heck is this? Looks like one of those Japanese four character idioms. Joy, anger, grief, pleasure. Huh. 
I can't get the doors to these shelves open either. There's no keyhole? More funny business? Kokeshi dolls? There are so many of them. Oh, they're doll. I thought they were books. Oh my god. Okay. They're so creepy. I want to get this over and done with ASAP. Actually, these dolls in particular are, un are unusually big. Don't tell me they're the treasure. <laughs> do these Kokeshi dolls have something to do with the note I just found? Uh, okay, so what was the note again? What is it? What does it actually say? <laughs> Joy, anger, grief, pleasure. Okay. So, anger... And then grief... Like that? Oh, well, maybe not. Hang on. That. There we go. Oh. The good old instant messenger door sound. I just heard something. Did it come from those shelves? Aha! Oh, <clears throat> ah, this must be... The passbook. I guess this is what the robot was talking about. The name is blacked out, though. Whoa, this is a crap ton of money. I should head back to the middle room. Raito will probably be back soon. Huh. A passbook found in a cabinet. The name printed on the front is blacked out and illegible. I see. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. No, Kogoni, you. Alright, let's go. Oh, Raita. Tsucho Teni Retazo. Hey, Raita, I've got the passbook. Kotsimo. Inkao Teni Retayo. And I've got the seal. Taritomo. Metamits get in the Hayaja. You guys are super speedy. I bet this attraction is going to be a walk in the park for you. We can't be sure yet. You're safe because you're an executioner, but things are different for us. So, Raita, what are we going to do next? Oh my god, excuse me. Whoopsie. I think we ought to hand what we found I think we ought to ought to hand over what we found to the robot. Its hands are open. Let's give this a shot. Nisa, <laughs> Futa, give the robot what you brought with you. I'm going to put the seal in its other hand. Alright, how's that? Oh, 
What am I supposed to do with this junk? Whoa, it's pissed. I ain't giving money to a bunch of reprobates like you. No sorry, no sorry. Hey, this thing's busted, right? This is odd. We've given it what it needs, but... It spat something out again. Yeah, yours truly is going to read it. <coughs> Let's see. Futa and Raita Yamada's alibis at the time of the incident. Futa Yamada had no alibi for the time of the incident. According to his statement, he was riding his motorcycle when the crime took place. He was swiftly apprehended, but upon investigation, his motorcycle gas tank was almost full, and there was no evidence he'd, be out, he'd been out riding. Raita Yamada had no alibi for the time of the incident. In his testimony, he stated that he was called regarding an investment opportunity, but that the caller did not show up for the appointment. Following this, the suspect remained completely silent. Huh. What the hell is this? It's this is like totally sketchy. What? No, it isn't. After band practice, I was riding my bike around the mountains near my house. Yeah, that's hardly an alibi, is it? Like, the gasoline tank was still full. Could you be any more incompetent? And I'm telling you, that's what stinks about this whole thing. I didn't stop for gas anywhere, so there's no way the tank could still be full. Yeah, the whole thing's fishy, you included. You brat. Oh, and Raita, your shady levels are way off the charts, too. Raita, why didn't you say anything? I heard that you didn't say a word in court. I didn't want to say anything, is all. If you're innocent but keep your trap shut, how's anyone gonna know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough of the squabbling, all right? Focus on the attraction. Hmm. What's up? Ha ha. Huh? Hi, Kagura-chan. Hiramei-chatta. Yours truly just had a brainwave. You want to hear it, do ya? <clears throat> what are you talking about? If you want to hear it, you gotta say so. Out with it already. You, you have to ask me. Hurry up and tell us. Okay, okay. You're so impatient, Futa. I realized that. Mm. 
Actually, nah, I'm not gonna tell ya. Who's it? Nanda Temewa. You little brat. Uso, uso. Kawaii na, Futa kun. I'm only kidding. You're real cute when you're mad, Fuda. <clears throat> Anyways, did you guys check the robot thoroughly? Lobo? Check the robot. I think I know what she's getting at, but oh. Well, it doesn't even let me check that. Ugh. Well, son of a bitch. How exactly are we supposed to go about checking the robot more thoroughly? Hmm? Hmm? It's kind of inconspicuous, but there's a slot thingy on the gatekeeper. <coughs> I wonder what it's for. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Uh huh. Um. Sashkomi guchi ni wa oshikome sou da ne. Hairi ya ii ttte mon janei shi na. It looks like this would fit, but that's not really the issue. Son of a bitch. Okay. Masako. <coughs> You've got to be kidding me. We're supposed to insert the knife. Into this slot? It sure looks like that's what it was what it's made for. Yeah, that's what I was gonna tell you. I bet there's gonna be a ton of blood spurting out. <laughs> you think this is funny? Huh? It's just a robot. We're not talking about human blood. Puta. Hi, hi, DZ and everyone. Hi, Aurora. How are you? How you doing? Huh? How are you, Han? Selfie. Can we get a caster for, um, Aurora, please? Wait, don't tell me you're scared, Futa. What a lame-o. Doing good, love. Hope you are too. I'm doing pretty good. I'm not. Quit messing with me. <clears throat> Futa, just ignore her. Don't let her get to you. Let's just carry on. Hurry up! Crap. Why do I have to do all the horrible stuff? Then again, I don't want Raita to have to do this. Screw it. I've got this. Oh. Look at it go. Jesus. <clears throat> Futa, calm down. It just made a noise, is all. Piece of junk surprising me like that. You should have seen the look on your face. Shut up. 
Look, a photo came out. Oh! Murder weapon? Uh huh. 17 centimeter kitchen knife, likely used in the murders, found at the scene of the crime. Uh, that's gross. Is that my grandparents' blood? Ew. Jeez, could you try being a bit more tactful? Huh? Why? It's no different to the stuff you see in movies, right? Oh, no. I watched Nightmare on Birch Street the other day. It was so sick. Oh my god. Oh. No. No. Oh, Freddy Krueger is rolling over in his grave. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Stop it. Judging by the looks of it, it's just a normal knife. <coughs> Obviously, the damn thing isn't mine. Nor is it Raita's. That's for sure. Even so, there's a lot of blood on it. Maybe they were stabbed really deeply. Wait. Wait, the police said they were stabbed repeatedly. repeatedly. There must have been so much blood. Huh? Something came out again. It's a ring. The lock seems to have been released. Let's get going. We can figure this out later. Kitchen knife and ring. Found scene of the crime, there are bloodstains on the handle. Ring acquired after stabbing the grandma bot. Okay. But, um, how you doing? How you doing, Rora? You have any plans today, huh? You gonna get up to anything fun today, Rora? I hope so. Hope you have a fun day today. Look, <coughs> 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 Lock seems to have been released. Let's get going. We can figure this out later. All right, fine. You don't want me looking in that room. I get it. <coughs> Yay! I'm first in. <sighs> there isn't much difference between this room and the last one. I'm not sure to be honest. It's been a lazy day so far for me, and I'm digging, digging this so far. Ha <laughs> ha. Aw, okay, Rora. Well, I mean, you're you feel free to hang out as long as you want. You are always welcome here, Han. Okay. All right. There's another robot in the middle. Let's investigate. Well, it's all I can look at, so. So this is the grandpa then. He looks like an old guy. <clears throat> Isn't it going to say anything? Are we supposed to threaten it again? If this room is a repeated last, then maybe it's worth a try. 
picture of the knife? Nothing. If these attractions are connected, why don't we try showing it what the other gatekeeper gave us? <clears throat> what now? Is that Grandma's ring? You bet. She got stabbed up real good. <clears throat> in the room on the left, there's a diamond. And in the room on the right, there's a gold bar. Do as you please. Looky, looky, another piece of paper. <clears throat> Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hydrate real quick. Oh my god. <clears throat> Kagura Kagutsuchi's family. When Kagura was still a young child, her father disappeared with his mistress. She lived with her mother for a while, but faced abuse on a daily basis. Later, she lost both parents to a car accident. Kagura was then taken in by her maternal grandparents. Oh no. <coughs> Whoa, this is like totally confidential personal info. Is it normal to write this kind of stuff down? You said it yourself earlier, right? <clears throat> and remember, we're in Yurukil Yur land. This place isn't normal. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, and by the way, my mom was having an affair too. <laughs> it was like she and my dad were having an affair off. Alright, let's head to the next room. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 